here's what the Nature Conservancy is seeing that is driving us toward urban conservation or urban strategies, whichever term you want to use. Three things. The first is the world's population is growing and growing quickly. We're at 7 billion people today. In a few short decades, we're going to be at 9 billion people on this earth. The second trend, those people are concentrating in cities like never before. And the third trend is that the drawdown on natural resources, the requirement for these people in these great big cities to have additional natural resources is causing cities to rethink how they serve their citizens. And that's where the Nature Conservancy is going to come in and provide a lot of very needed solutions. So the most important thing that we need to do at the Nature Conservancy was to take a look back and figure out what strategies we've been working on for our 60 year history that are now relevant in the urban environment. And here's what we found. The Nature Conservancy is good, very good at a handful of strategies that are very, very needed in cities. The first one is water funds. We have been connecting land protection and land stewardship to water quality for years. We've done it all over this country. In fact, we've done it all over the world and we're quite good at it. Fresh water is really central to the urban strategies. It's the silent currency that runs throughout our economy. It's the lifeblood of cities. Without securing our water sources, cities simply can't thrive and survive. Within the urban strategies platform, we have tools, mechanisms, and science to help cities value the natural resources from which they depend and protect it at its source. There's never been a more critical time for the Nature Conservancy to help cities grow with nature. More than 50% of the world's population lives in cities and climate change is making more extreme weather events, more intensity that's creating new challenges. The second strategy is coastal resiliency. We've done a lot of global work understanding what the coastal systems are, what needs restoration, what needs protection, and we've developed some real deep skills in this arena. The Nature Conservancy has a long history in coastal restoration. We are bringing decades of experience to this problem and applying it in new places such as New York and New Jersey and more highly urbanized areas so we can make sure that nature is part of the solution as we defend our coasts. Storms will continue to get worse, sea level rise will continue to increase, and people are going to respond to those threats. People are going to want to protect their houses and their property. Cities are going to want to protect their infrastructures. So essentially what we are facing is a tidal wave of concrete and rebar headed to our coastal zones. So what the Nature Conservancy is trying to do is get natural solutions into this mix. The beautiful thing about these solutions is they also provide habitat for our fisheries. They maintain good water quality and they provide areas for us to go enjoy the great outdoors. And the third area has to do with urban trees and understanding what a healthy canopy can do in order to clean water and clean air. When most people think of forests, they think of big expanses of uh, forest land like in our national parks and our national forests. But actually 25% of our nation's canopy is in our backyards and in our cities. Trees just aren't nice things to have around. They're actually essential to keeping our communities healthy, clean, and enjoyable. The fourth strategy is developing future leaders for conservation. I know how important this is for all of us. The ability for us to reach into these urban environments and find people who might not otherwise be attracted to our field is incredibly important right now. And our LEAF program does just that. When I think about the Nature Conservancy's urban strategies, I think about how we can authentically engage the communities that live, work, and play in our nation's largest cities. And what better way to do that than to employ and empower the next generation of green leaders. The Nature Conservancy has been working to empower urban youth for the past 20 years. And as we engage more young people in our work and expand our urban strategies, we'll be working to create an exponentially larger number of leaders to carry this work forward in the future. For years, in fact, throughout our entire history, the Nature Conservancy always took a look at the science that sat behind our work and asked ourselves, was it producing shifts that would cause our work to have to shift as well? Now, what we're seeing is a demographic shift 
And it's that demographic shift that is driving a different way that the Nature Conservancy is going to work. And here's the truth. Cities that used to be able to provide solutions to their own problems can't do that anymore. The problems have just reached a scale where a partner like the Nature Conservancy is not only needed, we're welcome. We've picked four big American cities because we want to make sure that even when we're talking about urban conservation, we're thinking about scale. Those cities include Los Angeles, Houston, Chicago, and New York. The reason this organization is so strong and the reason that we are the leading conservation organization and have been around for 60 years is because we've always gotten good at looking out ahead and seeing what the trends are and making sure that our conservation strategies are on point and relevant. And that's exactly what we're doing with urban conservation.